Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to EMC. Yo, 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 what's up? So today, we thought of something that's more lifestyle, right? We want to talk about the number one public enemy for guys like us who love modifying cars. This is something that all of you guys will understand because, I mean, we're pretty damn perfect, but we mess up our cars once in a while. I gotta admit it. Okay, we're far from perfect. <laughs> but, yes, we try our best not to mess them up, but sometimes, you know, we, yeah. we, we stuff up the rims, curb rashes. This happens every day, right? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna drive around Type A. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what do's and don'ts. Uh, maybe you guys can learn something and take a couple tips from us and uh, help you on your journey of uh, Dyson and Sun, right? So before we get on the road and go to a couple different parking garages and stuff, I just wanna show you guys my wheels. Just come with me, you'll understand. I don't wanna say too much. You know, my car is a little bit wider, so my wheels and the offset will come out a little wider. So when I'm parking with these really, really narrow garages in Taiwan, I'm gonna get scratched up a lot, so check this out, man. My wheels are really, really damaged. It scratches all over, all over here too, if you guys can tell. I mean, it's not just me, okay? Uh, I don't wanna blame it on my driver or the assistant. Or my wife, but listen, no one's perfect, all right? And uh, I got a couple more. Ooh, this is cringeworthy. Ah, just looking at it makes me wanna puke. This is disgusting. This is really, really bad. Uh, and there's more here. Oh, fuck, this is deeper. I'm sure you guys can relate. This is like my worst nightmare, especially when you drive and you hear it and it goes. <sighs> yeah, I mean, and, oh. and we're so lucky that we get to make these EMC wheels, right? So for us, it's actually, it doesn't hurt as much. I'm yeah. sure people who get the HREs, you know, they spend cents oh. lenses as well on yeah. the rims. And when you scuff those up, man, anyway, I'm assuming it's all just. It's heartbreaking, yeah, it you fun. know? So these are the problems that I'm sure all of you can understand and relate to. Ryan, why don't you show your stuff? Uh, yeah, well, if you look at my rims, I mean, they're in pretty good condition. This, I, I kind of just have a little secret that I'll share with you guys later how I fix this with. But yeah, I mean, if you look, look closely, you can see it from afar, you can't really tell. Um, yeah, man, my wheels are, you know, I've had these for like over a year already, and they're okay. You know? Okay. Oh, wait, I did notice that you have a lot of rock chips and stuff. Huh? Yes. These are not from parking. These are from um, when I like run into like pebbles and then like it, the, the tires uh, kind of shoots it back. This is something else that I think guys who love playing with cars need. Protection exactly. for, your, for your paint, for your car. Exactly. You so, might need a wrap. Like what you said, I do. I usually touch it up like once a year. Uh, I send it into the body shop and get all the little nicks. Oh, dude. What? I saw something. What? What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> that is my, uh, my driveway is uh, meaning that one car can come, either come up or go down at once. Like it's literally when I'm in this car, I'll have maybe side to go this is to go on each side, you know, and I've been living there for 20 years. I can almost drive that thing blindfolded, but accidents do happen, okay? Uh, accidents do happen. I, I attest to that. And we'll go check out his garage in a bit after we're done with a couple of parking garages in Xingyi district. You I know. tried this thing a lot. I'm on, I'm on almost 60,000 already. Oh, this is your daily. Yeah. You know, he does yeah. everything in this yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's take everybody on a little, little, little tour. Yeah. Let's go park our cars. Super car alley, yeah. right? Yeah. The top house here. So, People come here just to park their cars. <laughs> yeah, just to show know, off. Grab a coffee, be seen, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one's really tight. He's having a little bit of an issue. Uh, <laughs> I did it. I did it. That was kind of tough. Like, this is. Is this both ways? Okay, so these are the dreaded. Uh, like half automatic ones. So yeah. this is a no-no. If you have like an offset on your car where like you're running like wider or more aggressive, these are your like arch enemies. <laughs> Cause 
one little mishap and you're scrubbing the shit out of you're scuffing the shit out of your rims, right? Yeah, man. So another rule of thumb, I think, is when you're parking on the street or on the sidewalk, when you're parallel parking, I mean, for me, I always leave like maybe Earth is going thin. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. At, at minimum. Okay, so this so far this one's not too bad, but yeah, I mean this is supposed to be the ultra luxury, right? Yeah, but I think you know, there's a there's an island where it does suck. Okay, well this sucks. Oh yeah, this this is. I think it's this one. I this think sucks. it's this one. Like when we come up later. So anytime there's an island, this is when you know it could get dangerous. Like right there, you see this? Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. This is speciale. Uh, oh, it's a it's a mom. It's a mom driving. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. That's the last of the V8s, man. All right. So, yeah, that corner, dude, was uh, was a little sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That corner is a little bit sketchy. So I think these islands, whenever there's columns and stuff, like that's a little bit of a problem, right? Because yeah. the curbs. You know, back to the golden rules, right? Uh, number one, you know, uh, leave about 15, 20 cm extra. Uh, so Especially you don't, when you're parking on the sides. Parallel parking, right? Yep. Uh, uh, rule number two is try to avoid the places you don't know, right? Rule number three is uh, avoid all the sound shots and, and tin tea to the zone. Yeah, right? you see that, you see yeah. that, like you go up and down or the ones that move left exactly. and right. There's only a certain width exactly that they have because you know when you go aggressive on the on the offsets and when you have bigger tires bigger rims you're sometimes you're so aggressive that you're actually protruding out of the tilson right so it has right so it's right uh and then uh as we'll show you this later i have one of my cars i have a i have a <laughs> bottle of a nail polish uh so I, I do have a black polished outer rim lip so when I scratch it, you know, I just put some on. It's almost like a uh, magic. You can't even really see it. Dude, you guys have it right there. Yeah. You know, like I didn't even know Ryan had that little secret. Yep. Yeah. Well, no wonder your wheels always look so black. Yep. I got a lot of shit up my sleeves, man. Yeah. You know? I was always wondering. <laughs> I was like, wait, you know what? Like, I, I mean, I scratch it like sometimes, not a lot. Yeah. yeah I, I do have an assistant. You know, Gulzhal scratches it sometimes, and Dizzy scratches it. I scratch it. So we all scratch it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure your driver scratches it. He scratches sometimes. it every time he drives it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So this is something that we just we just can't get away from. It's, yeah. There's no way that you're gonna be able to keep your car mint. So a lot of people have asked me why I didn't go more aggressive on the X7. That's one of the reasons as well. Because it's just it's just it's tight quad so you have done that in Kyla. Yeah. Uh, but it does look a lot better, you know. True. All right, so uh, we're gonna go down. Okay. Yeah. Get in your car, and then we'll just go through a couple more. Okay. All right. Aha! So we are in Ryan's car. Okay. okay, okay. So this is my little thing that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. It's actually nail polish. <laughs> it's black nail polish. All right. Well, hey. <laughs> actually, I, I kind of nicked it the other day, so we're, I'm gonna put it on for you. Okay, okay. Why don't we finish the vlog and okay. show you how we do things at EMC? Yeah, I mean, you, we got <laughs> sometimes we got to MacGyver it up, right? Yeah, man. Hey, this is this is brilliant. Yeah, to yeah. be honest with you, this is brilliant. It's a great system. I gotta say, it takes skills to go in and out of your house. Yeah, man. Uh, That's a tight ass drive. I don't know how I've been doing you for did twenty it years. In LT. Yeah, I had to do it in the LT. <laughs> that must have been an interesting experience. Uh, yeah. Because right? so. that shit is low as hell, right? And your visibility level is uh, quite, yeah. quite, quite low, right? Yeah, I had to do it a couple times in the GD3 too. But dude, I don't know how you do it in your Ferraris. Yeah, yo, yo, I had a friend, uh, Kenny, you know who you are. <laughs> That uh, he came to my house once and he was like, hey, can I park at your house? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I didn't hear from this guy for like 25 minutes. <laughs> I didn't know where he was. Like, and then I was like, yo, where are you? And then, uh, and I had to call my guard. My guard was like, yeah, he's stuck in the driveway. And he, he basically, I think he scratched the front and then he tried to back up and he scratched the back and then he was just like oh stuck my in my driveway, God. right? Nightmare. <laughs> These are nightmares. Yeah, nightmare scenario. These are the stories, man. So yeah. if you guys got some interesting parking stories or nightmare parking garage experiences, let us know. So I mean, this, when I back up, it'll switch from the camera angles. Yeah. So see, see that? And right. then, and then, what's up? I'm quite flat now, so I have to wait. I mean, that's our 
already. Oh yeah, so it has these lines yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, so so these are the different parking assists. And then it should switch. Oh! 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 I think he, I think he nicked a little bit. Oh no! You nicked a little bit. Oh, okay, I gotta pull out. Just, just a little bit. I gotta pull out. <laughs> I gotta pull out. Well, okay, yeah, so it's a, green is okay. Green is okay. And the yellow is just already a warning. It's getting closer, closer, getting closer. closer. Oh. And, then, see, see, oh, and then it switches. Oh, oh, see that? Oh, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah, quiet, quiet, quiet. Okay, and it tells you, okay, so you're in trouble, so you gotta pull out. So, what you gonna say, Jinx, it's already as. It's already well. This is much this is, better than before. Right? This is modern day technology yeah, at yeah, its yeah, finest, yeah, 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 totally. with all these sensors. And uh, my car has something similar, but I think yours might be a little more advanced. Like it has a 3D camera. I still don't know how they pulled this off. All right, so we are going down the infamous driveway. Well, the B1 high hall. It, it, it gets worse. Right, it definitely gets worse. Okay, I don't want to run these boys over. Okay, we're gonna. Well, I mean, this is what we were talking about with really narrow driveways and your bumpers yeah. being scratched up. Yeah. So, yeah, if you look at the walls, I mean, we got, there's scuff marks like everywhere, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this this is very tight. Look, I am, uh, look look at that. Look, look at how, that's that's like three inches. Oh, yeah, from right, from right here. Look at that. Oh, my God. That. Somebody fucked their car up over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yo! Oh! 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 Yeah, I mean, that was because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a little tour type A and uh, do's and don'ts and what we go through fixing up our cars. Hope you guys learned something. Please share with us below if you have any tips of your own or whether you think uh, you know what we said makes sense or not, right? <laughs> We'd love to hear what you have to say. We hope you guys enjoyed this lifestyle vlog about us going around parking spots. And just in case if you guys are wondering about these baseball jerseys, this is the new Empire black and white baseball jerseys. It's gonna be out really, really soon, so look out for the new drop. And don't forget about Empire Fest. Empire Fest is going to be December 17th in Mark Taizong. That down. Mark yes, that date down. remember, it's All going to right. be the most badass event of the year. It's going to be for the families, the community, for the kids, for everyone. We're going to have a bunch of contests. We're going to have a live performance by a couple special guests. So we'll have more info on that, but just keep on the lookout. Keep supporting EMC. We'll see you guys on the next one. We'll have much more project cars coming your way. So. Uh, Stay tuned, man. Peace. Peace.